Hi and welcome to this very quick demo on how to install new layers and new nodes in Mari 2.5. Mari 2.5 introduced a lot of new uh, shader API for developers so we can do a lot more than we can before and um, one of the things that changed is how to install new nodes. In Mari 2.0 we more or less had to hack some installation files to get nodes to show up. This is no longer the case. Things are pretty easy now. So for example, if you download a new node of mari.ideasky.com, just go to the user layer nodes with the 2.5 compatible ones. And let's say we pick any node, like the great node. And you just scroll down, there should be a 2.5 version. There's a 2.0 version available as well. So make sure you get the right version. And if you download it, in the file, in the zip file, there's a script directory, um, sample images, license, and a readme with some general hints and you know history and stuff like that. So we just extract this one and in, on Windows your Mari script directory will live under uh, documents so that's my documents is a Mari folder and a script directory so in this case there's a script directory in the file so we just extract it straight in there and I already have it in there so that's why it's asking me to override it and that's already it um, if you start Mari now all the nodes will come registered so if we just quickly start it up and if you go to your Python console under Python show console you'll get a lot of entries in there saying register procedural node uh, and if any errors happen that's where it'll come out and you'll see if something went wrong now by default all idea scale nodes will be registered um, in a custom folder. So for example under geometry there's a custom one with the object normal ID. Um, under the procedure one there's a custom one with some subfolders based on type of procedural. Uh, if you want to change this order you simply go to your script directory and there's uh, a Python file that comes with each zip file that you download. And it's just a py file and once Mari starts there's going to be a pyc file as well which is a compiled version but for example if you just open the uh, the py file in your text editor um, you'll see there's a uh, register vibrance in this case and in here there's a, there's a, a structure so it says custom vibrance ID. So for example, this is an adjustment layer, so it'll always live under the adjustments. But you can change this up folder. For example, if you want, don't want the custom folder, just remove this part. And next time Mari starts, you get it in a different location. And that's already it. Um, keep checking idea scale. There's going to be plenty of new nodes coming. Um, one thing that is important to note is with 2.5 we are able to register functions which is a lot more efficient because we like the nodes itself will become a lot smaller and we can you know have a like a proper development workflow and we have one centralized library that we try to maintain which is called the Mari function library and a lot of nodes will have an uh, a hint that says uh, requires my function library 1.0 at least or 1.05 at least um, so always make sure that you have that and the installation is exactly the same you just download it uh, put it into your script directory and that's it all right hope that's useful and keep checking at your scale